Hello, everybody, and happy Friday. It's Kate Richberg, and it is time. Let me see. I'm moving this around. It is time for a free tip Friday. And, you know, I'm going to tell you the honest truth. I've been talking at you for like the last four to five minutes. I realized that I hadn't clicked the live button. So I went through the whole thing. I put on earrings. I chatted. I talked about, you know, my coffee mug, all that stuff. And then I realized my little button up here says go live. And I went, oh, I'm not live yet. <laughs> Oops. What are you going to do? Well, okay. Let me tell you. Uh, I know I was just standing here just talking to you all. Um, I am still rearranging my studio space. It's still not quite where I want it to be. Um, I still, I might, I'm going to move all of this around, I think, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. Um, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff today. Yeah, it was totally... It was totally a dress rehearsal. It was <laughs> completely, right? So uh, apologies on that, my friends. So let me tell you, uh, today we're going to go over several things. We're going to go over um, uh, the kits, which I've got sitting here, which we're going to look at. We're going to go over the new symbols that I want to show you that just launched. I've got those. I want to talk about those. Um, and I also want to show you, let me see if I can arrange a little bit more here. There we go. Right behind me. I know, you know, I guess I am in my own little world, right? I don't know. I'm just here. Hello, Zakaya. I am in my own little world. I'm just here chatting to myself, I guess. Hopefully Alfred will come out. Um, if you've been following me, let me go over here. Let me close this up. Uh, if you've been following my socials, you will have seen that Alfred is bringing in this uh, stick of the day, right? Uh, he goes outside in our backyard here and picks out the perfect stick and brings it to Chris, you know, leaves it right by his chair. So uh, today he did leave one today. I'm going to post it uh, on my social. So you've been seeing it. He does it every day or almost every day, but yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, sometimes it's giant sticks. Sometimes it's tiny sticks. So yeah, stick of the day. So I think Alfred is still, uh, he might be going for his second stick uh, of the day today. But anyway, I know. Is he building a nest? I I'm not sure. I think he just wants to give us gifts. That's what I'm thinking. But anyway, I love it. So um, anyway, uh, here, let me show you folks, though. This right here, I've been organizing uh, and organizing. And these actually, I had some of these in my old studio in South City back when I had uh, my South San Francisco studio. And I hadn't used them since. And we had some of these at the bead shop, um, headquarters over, uh, in Redwood city where we would keep like the, the briolettes and stuff like that for you. So, but I brought them home. Okay. Um, and you know how I'm always struggling to look for chain. I'm struggling to look for like ear wires and head pins and stuff. So I want to show you this. I did this with chain and I'm going to do them with clasps and the ear wires and everything. What I did was, and I'll hold this here so you can see it. I took all of my chain out of my random box, right? Um, yeah, Alfred is the cat. Those of you know, it's not, it's, it's not a child though. He might as well be our child. Um, anyway, yes. Um, so what I did was, and I'll pull out a couple of the drawers, you know, the, um, the labels that come on our baggies that you get, right? They have a little label. Well, they're easily torn off, right? So I pulled them off and they still have the sticky 
on them. Okay. And so I put what the type was. So this is small paperclip chain right here. And I put all of the colors in together. Okay. And I also put them in alphabetical order. I know, right? It's only taken me years to figure that out. Right. So I did that. So I'm pretty pleased. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. So keep those, you know, whatever you get those on those sticky, you know, your, your baggies, the sticky labels on them, you can tear them off and put them on drawers or whatever. Right. So this is my chain. Um, I started it also with head pins and eye pins. Um, and I did them just like we used to do them at the office. Right. Um, so I've got these, they're going to be finished up right here, but these are the one and a half inch, two inch ball head pins, and then eye pins over here. And then they're all, um, antique brass, all in alpha order, antique brass, uh, antique copper, antique silver, then bright and bright here. So yes. So it seems to be working. So we'll see. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is. There's more Alfie to love. He is, he's just a huge, he is a huge cat. When he lays like this, he is two feet long. It's ridiculous. So he is a sturdy boy, but I'll tell you, he's gigantic, my boy. Um, and then this one, this one's empty so far here, but I'm going to do um, ear wires, stuff like that. Yes, Janice, that last row is going to be exactly for the niobium uh, head pins over there. This is going to be for ear wires. Um, and then I've got one more over there that I haven't brought over. I'm going to put all the clasps in. So I will be able to find things pretty easily and hopefully pretty easily through the broadcast. Let me show you what I've got over here just to show you what I did. I moved my bead drawers over here. So this is where like all of my personal bead collection is. So it all lives um, over here, different drawers, all labeled. Um, and I don't know, maybe I'll move, maybe I'll move this desk over a little bit like this. I'm not quite sure, but I'm working it out. I've got some of my favorite pieces here, more pearls hanging here. I put up a small piece of pegboard here that I'm going to put my tools and stuff up. So it's getting there slowly, slowly. But you know, when you think, oh my goodness, you know, it'll be really easy and fast for me to do. And no, it, it it's not. I also moved photography. I've got some of when I photograph and stuff, it's all back over there. So it's, it's getting there. And then we've got shipping and receiving over there. So slowly, but surely I'll tell you, um, reorganizing is always fun. It's always a good thing, a uh, fun thing to do, but man, it takes it out of you. Right. Um, yeah, this is, you know, no, my clock is, um, I think I need to get a new clock. Um, the, I put a new battery in it, but I don't think it's working. I think I need a fresh clock, right? So yeah, I think it still says three 30, uh, or 10 30, whatever, it, whatever it says, it's not right. Um, what else am I going to show you? Oh, that is a, uh, a, a, a print cabinet. Um, Terry, it's all has drawers. It's a Hamilton print cabinet. And so it's curved like this because the typesetters would go here and here, and then all of the drawers are typesetting drawers um, right here, but you can see that there are beads in there. So yeah, I love it. I got it um, probably about 25 years ago. Um, there was a, um, a vintage store in downtown Burlingame near where I used to live, and I just moved into my house, and they had this, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to buy it. It had all the drawers together. I mean, you've never seen one together like this. So I'm pretty pleased with it. So it has, it's all arranged in colors and stuff like that. And for our retreats, 
um, I pull out a couple of the drawers of my mixed beads uh, and I bring them for people to pick through. So, and yes, I did have that in my shop, uh, Debbie. I did. Uh, it was really fun. That's right. Good eye. It is a, a fun piece. I, I really love it. And it's traveled with me uh, throughout, uh, throughout the years. So when you take all the drawers out of it, it's still heavy, but it's not super heavy. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's traveled with me. All right. So let me get to, um, get to my space here. Here we go. I'm not, I, I don't love this arrangement yet, but again, we're going to, we're going to play around with it. Um, let me show you folks what I've got going on here. Uh, you can see this is a mess sort of is what I've got going on here, but we've got the new bracelet kits for the Maverick bracelet. Okay. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the Maverick, what it's all about. Uh, you saw the preview that I shared with you, I don't know, a couple weeks ago or something. Um, and, uh, we talked about different names. So let me, sh let me share with you. If you've gone to the website, you will see, uh, the names for, uh, the kits, <clears throat> the Maverick kits. So the first one we've got, this is the Jane right here. And that's this one. It is the, uh, kind of the, the distressed Brown and kind of the, the, the Terra colors, kind of terracotta and carnelian. I named this one Jane. Can you guess? Can you guess? It is named after Jane Goodall. Our Jane Goodall, who, uh, is, uh, so sorry, I was out of the, I was out of the, the shot there. Let me see if I can, there we go. Even it out a little bit. Um, I, I just love the colors. Um, and I've always loved to read about Jane Goodall. Um, we used to get the National Geographic when I was a kid and, you know, I really just loved her listening reading about her work. So I named this one, the Jane, we're going to talk about the kits a little bit more. And of course, tomorrow during the great bead extravaganza, um, I'm going to show you, um, how I work with these, these you can use completely like I did with the kit. Um, or you can use it as a jumping off point, but more about that tomorrow. Okay. So that's the Jane. Let me move this one over. The next one that I've got here named for another Maverick is the Gloria. Now this, uh, is named for Gloria Steinem, who is an advocate of course, for women's rights and a, uh, uh, She's a writer. She's so many, many, many things. Um, this one is the one I'm going to be working on, um, on the broadcast to make it, it's the blue and it has these really gorgeous. I found, I found all of these, um, components in Tucson, but I really want to show you these. Let me make sure that I'm in the shot because I clicked over. Yeah, not, not really, but close enough, I guess. These are green and yellow opal browns. Can you see those? How beautiful those are. And then some turquoise cubes. I just love them. And I paired them with, uh, the butterscotch, uh, wax linen. So that's this one here. And I'm going to talk, uh, this is the, um, it's our limited edition 10 millimeter strap. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in a moment. Okay. But that's this, this is the Gloria named after Gloria Steinem. Next, let me see if there's any questions so far. Good. Okay. The last one, I don't know. Um, um probably many of you have heard of her. I uh, first became aware of Ida B. Wells, um, because there's a school in San Francisco named after Ida B. Wells. And she, 
um, is an early leader from the 1800s in the civil rights movement. She was um, uh, a journalist, an investigative journalist. Um, back when women, and most certainly women of color, um, did not, you know, did not really have professions. So she um, was definitely a maverick in so many ways, Ida B. Wells. And so this I named after Ida B. Um, and it's the gray tones, which I really, really love. Um, and um, yeah, so this is named after Ida B. Wells. Ida B. is the gray strap uh, with this uh, olive wax linen. And um, I used the African turquoise and the stripe uh, agate, which I love. And um, this lovely little tag. Let me show you the tag um, here. Um, and for some reason, I don't have the, the closure, but I think I took the closure out to make this piece. Um, here's my closure right here with the clasp. And you can see there's the, the piece right here, here. And then you can see how the flat pieces go here. So again, I'm going to talk more about how this goes together and everything on the Great Beat Extravaganza broadcast. But essentially what you get is you get strap, our 10 millimeter strap, that is a yard. Okay. So you can, um, you can, you, you've got a ton of it here. So you can use some for your bracelet. I made this bracelet a two wrap. You can use some for your bracelet and then you'll have some left over. Um, the, the leather itself, we're also selling it just by the leather. So if you love it, what we did was we marked it um, at a really, really great price because we're only going to be able to get this. Uh, it was a very limited edition. So we are getting more strap, lots of stuff. Janice and I are developing some really great colors, some really great um, um, colorways and sizes. So when these are gone, they're gone. Um, but let me show you. Um, it is, let me re-zero this out. And it is a 10 millimeter. And then it's about two millimeters wide. Okay. So it's a nice substantial kind of piece to work with. So you've got plenty of leather here. Uh, I'm going to show you when I demo the piece, how I use the, the punch, um, to put holes in it and everything. It's, it's a lot of fun to work with. Also, you can really, as I say, use this as a jumping off point. I'm going to show you how I did these closures. Um, I did the closures here with some oval jump rings, but you can use jump rings, different clasps. Um, so it's a lot of fun to play around with. Uh, you can add some of your own pieces here, uh, but I'm pretty pleased. I'm pretty excited with how this, how this is going. If you don't like the multiple wrap, you can just make it a single wrap, however you want. But we're going to talk about it a little bit more tomorrow during the show. Let's take a look uh, at some of the questions. Yes, I hear that um, um, Mary Ellen is saying she's getting tickets to the new Broadway musical Suffs. Yeah, I can't wait uh, to see it. Um, oh, I love how Oh, good. Steph Millie. Yeah, I, I try and delve kind of deep into my, uh, Shiro list. I have so many, there were so many Mavericks I could have used, but, uh, these were the three that made my cut. The curved metal piece, uh, can be stamped on. It is, um, plated, but the plating is nice and heavy. Uh, the thing with the curved metal is that it's curved. So when you stamp on it, you need to have something that's going to support the curve underneath. So if you have kind of like a, if you stamp it on like a bracelet mandrel or something like that, that would work, but you don't want to stamp it flat or else you'll flatten it. 
Okay. Uh, let me see if there's any other questions here. Oh yeah, Ma, that's really true. This would also make a really beautiful hat band if you wanted to do this instead of a bracelet. Um, hat bands are kind of all the rage again, um, which are, are kind of cool. And you get a yard of this leather, so you've got plenty, plenty to work on. Uh, on Maggie, we do sell the digital calipers. Um, I really, I, I went searching for this one today because I was like, I can't do this show without the caliper. So we do carry them on beadshop.com. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Janice just put the link up. There we go. So we've got the three now they are going, you folks love them. Uh, as much as I did. Thank you so much for that. Sometimes I feel like when I make a design, I don't know, this is truth telling time, I'll make a design and it's like throwing a party, right? And you're like, is anyone going to show up? But then you do and you like it. So I'm so pleased that you do like it. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, there is a list of the different um, components in the kit. So if you miss the kit, you can buy the leather itself. You can buy the wax linen. You can kind of make your own adventure with this. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more when I do the demo on the Great Beat Extravaganza um, for tomorrow. Okay. So uh, let me see. The Maverick, there's still some. We still have about a little less than 20. Ida is in the lead. Uh, she's the one we have the least of. We've got 13 left right now. Then uh, the Jane and the Gloria are coming in at close seconds. So we still have some. If you miss it, though, we will, uh, you know, you can play around certainly with your own version there. Um, okay. And the finished bracelets, they are on the home page of the website. Let me navigate over there. Um, they are under, bear with me here. If you click on projects, let me go here. Um, let me share my screen for you folks so you can see it. Uh, hang on. Let me share my screen here for you. Uh, share screen and here. And we'll go here. Okay. So let me go back to the main homepage. And I also wanted to remind you folks with um, the Great Beat Extravaganza weekend, this weekend, and for those of you who aren't familiar, it is um, a group of us, a bunch of small businesses that get together and throw a virtual bead show uh, four times a year. This one we named the Spring Fling. Tonight is preview night starting at 5 p.m. on the Great Beat Extravaganza Facebook page. Um, and then tomorrow, the 20th and the 21st, all of us go back to back to back with half hour breaks in between um, to uh, share demos and stuff with you. So my time tomorrow is 10 a.m. Pacific for that. Okay, so here we are, 20% off store wide, use coupon code Spring Fling. Um, if you uh, right here is a link to the kits, you just click there. They're right here. We still also have a few third Thursday earring kits left, just a handful left. You folks loved them, um, which I'm really stoked about. We also have a few of the gold bee blossom kits, not very many. I think we've got like just two or three left from the month before. We also have a few kits left, uh, the last of our wonderful Tiara Cast kits. So if you love these and you want to nab any of them, uh, that is that will be the end of those guys once those sell out. Uh, if you navigate back here to um, Bead Shop, let me uh, remove this out of the way for a second. Um, and... Uh, Hang on real quick. So here, if we go to uh, projects right here and we click on projects, you'll see the Maverick bracelet is right here. We click on that and you can see uh, the uh, finished pieces here and you can see them. They're laid out here and we'll lay out the third one um, as soon as I finish it and it will be on there as well. So you've got really good 
photos there. So let's go back here. Um, if we click on this photo, it'll give you, it'll take you right over to the Great Beat Extravaganza page over here on Facebook. Um, you'll see right up at the top, you can grab your, um, uh, your schedule right there. You can also, our swag bag is digital this time. So you're going to get digital gift certificates from the uh, presenters. You can sign up for the giveaway there. Um, and then you'll see the, the broadcasts uh, pop up both here on the Great Beat Extravaganza page as well as the group. Okay, but all of the past um, Great Beat Extravaganza let me go here. Uh, let me go to, um, I think it's under videos. Um, you can see all of the videos from past shows. Um, they all live here. Okay. So you can go back, you can watch them in perpetuity, right? Um, they're a lot of fun to, to watch old ones here as well. Okay. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that's helpful, uh, for you folks. Okay. So yes, spring fling, my friends works on the kits, works on everything for 20% off. Uh, Randy, we do deliver to Canada. We send internationally all the time, not only our friends to the North, but our friends to the South, East, West, wherever, uh, we send it everywhere. Um, and let me see. Um, and so I hope that helps, um, kind of navigate everything for, uh, for the great bead. All right. So, uh, that's that for now. Let me go ahead and talk to you about the symbols. Okay. Uh, the new symbol components. Let me get all of this stuff out of the way. Here we go. And let me get this in and let me highlight that. Uh, let me grab, let me grab my stool here real quick. It's, it's outside. I'm giving you dead air here. Let me, uh, let me put something in, in preparation. I've got Drea's beautiful sur super duo necklace that she did a while back. There we go. In my rearranging, as I come back, in my rearranging, I put my stool outside and I forgot to grab it. There we go. This is that old stool we had back at the bead shop in Palo Alto. And that would sit by the register there. Or our class, our classes. All right, there we go. Shoo. Uh, so here it is. Uh, this is Drea's piece that she did. I also have super duos in my earrings here. I'll show you these. And now let's look at the symbol pieces. Uh, great question, Susan. You don't need to sign up. You just go, if you have uh, Facebook, you just go to the Great Beat Extravaganza. I would go and join the group and the page the page is private, the group is public, and the um, broadcasts just start. And go ahead and print yourself uh, the um, the schedule, and you'll see uh, everybody's schedule. And they just come on live um, on the uh, on the page. Some of us also broadcast to like our regular spots. Like I'll also be on the bead shop regular bead shop socials in the bead shop. Um, uh, uh, YouTube and Facebook and everything. So, um, yeah, so you'll, you'll see it all there, but, uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's really great. Uh, I know everybody has really great ideas that are, that are coming up for us. So let's talk about all of these really cool symbols. Yeah. On our first launch, um, I made these kind of a little bit off the cuff, uh, literally when I did these, um, the symbols, we're going to be launching a whole bunch 
on super duos, uh, which we've done here, all of the super duos ones, we're launching the Tyla uh, symbols. And we also have a whole line of gem duos. We're adding gem duos. Okay. And we're adding um, all of the symbol gem duos um, components. Okay. Becky, uh, another question about the great beat extravaganza. You don't, um, you just sign up for the giveaway though. Some, um, uh, presenters, uh, do, uh, do giveaways during the lives. The main, uh, giveaway, um, we usually draw it about, um, about a week or so after the show concludes. Um, and then you'll be notified via email. Okay. Um, here are my pieces that I still haven't finished from that. Let me, uh, let me put those super duos there and let me pull out these guys. I love, I don't know. I, super duos and I have, I've come a long way with super duos. When I first saw them, there we there, there it is there. When I first saw them, I was like, yeah, they're really cool, but I don't know what I'm going to do with them. And then Drea, who's like a super duo fanatic, she's like, this is what you're going to do with them. So they're pretty darn cool. I really like them. So I'm going to pop out some super duos here. This was from our mix from our, um, let's see if I can bring my camera a little bit closer here. Bear with me here just a second. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, and so we can play around with these. So this one is, and I'm going to, because they're all, uh, they're Greek made. Oh, come on, Alfred. Did you hear that meow? Um, this is the super duo ending. This is the Menentes. I'm going to really butcher these uh, names, but you can see it is made for a cuff where the super duos go in, they taper. Can you see that? Look at how, look at that. How beautiful those look. You could do this for an earring. You could do it for uh, a bracelet or a necklace, but see how they just nestle right in there. Um, they're really, really cool. So this size, let me measure them for you. Where did my, um, where did my caliper go? Come on. I've made my table smaller so I could find things, but it's not, it's not really working. Um, okay. So this size here, let me re-zero it. This one here is at the widest point. And they come in all the different finishes with the exception of antique copper. Okay. So they're here about 15, a little over 15 millimeters. And then the interior of that, it's about a 1.7 millimeter, but I love them. And this would also make a really fantastic earring, I think too, but this would be great for um, your uh, bracelet sides. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other ones here. There we go. I'll put this one aside. Um, we have, let me put it right here so I don't get things mixed up. This one is a cool one. This is, and I think Janice, you're playing around with this one too. This one is the Caparia. It's the side, it's a side bead. Can you see this, how it, how it's a little doubled kind of a bead. And let me show you, it goes, though these have drops in them. I don't have anything that's kind of open, but you can see if I were on the edge of an open super duo piece, how that would nestle right in to edge it. Can you see that? It's a, it's a small one. So if you have like a, like even here, see how Drea used on the side. Well, let me get my, I don't think I finished off my, um, my mandala. 
light piece here. Hang on. No, good. Let me get this. Here's this one. And can you see how I would stitch it? See how it's got two holes right there? And I just stitch it in right there to edge it. Let me zoom in. See how it sits there? It's really cool. I really like it. Um, and that comes in a bag. They come in a bag of 24. Um, and they're, they're small. About five millimeters in length. Um, but they're really cool little bead. Now all of these findings, um, they're all plated. They're nice and sturdy. They're great. I bet they're, they're made for super duos, but I'll tell you, you could probably use these for other things as well. Janice is playing around with them and exper experimenting with them too. Um, there are some questions here. Hang on. Um, Janice is saying she finds a size 10 English beading needle in KO. Um, does it only edge? Yeah, so the two holes, you know, like if I have a hole here in this one and a hole here in this one, it goes in here, but it would also go right in between. See, there's a super duo hole there and a super duo hole there, okay? So you kind of have to experiment with it a little bit, but this is, yeah, it's a really great one. Uh, let me show you here what else we've got. Oh, let me show you this finishing one. I mean, we've got a ton of them. I don't know if I'll get to every single one that we have, but these, I loved, loved these. These are called the Vori. And look at how it feels like it's a kind of a bali silver kind of a piece. They're plated, so they're they're not sterling, but they're silver plate. Um, but look at how pretty that closure will. Oh, and Janice is saying that the Checkmates bars will also work with the Vori. Good idea, JP. Um, let me see if I've got a thing of the bars right here. Here's some. So there we go. Let me put a few of those. So let's put, those are the Checkmates bars right there. Let's toss a Super Duo in there. So see how that super duo, look at how nicely that wedges right in there. But look at the bars too. Look at how that bar sits really nicely. And then you would come in with your second row right here. The Checkmates bars are very similar to Super Duos, except they're straight up and down. Okay. These would also make a great earring component. Um, this project that Drea did, it's under Super Duos. I think it's under Necklaces, Super Duos. It was a really fun one to do. I really have to finish mine. Anyway, I'm kind of making a mess of this, but you see how they go together, okay? Um, it was great. Uh, so this is the Vori. The first cuff component that I showed is called the Menites, M-E-N-I-T-E-S. This one right there. Okay. Yeah, very nice for bar Bargello, these. And it's the hexagon necklace is what it's called. Okay. Um, all right. So that's those. These are they.
Let me grab this. Let me show you some others. We also have, this one's called the Rosos, and we have the Rosos in the three, and I think we have the Rosos in the um, in the five as well. Hang on. Here's the five. It's a bar. Again, it would go great for an earring or, of course, a bracelet. And we've got it in three across and five across. But something like this would also fit. Let me get the five in here, maybe. Yeah. So if you wanted to create a pendant out of that, look at how cool that looks. It just slides right in there, right? Um, really nice. And that's the Rosos, R-O-Z-O-S, Rosos. Let me go to... Um, Let me see what else I haven't shown. Oh, the magnetic clasp. Let me see if I can find that one. The tap free. Do I have any of those here? The magnetic clasp. Hang on. Keep looking at this one. Let me see if I can find it. It might have gotten away from me. Let me see if it's over here. Russell, Russell, can you hear me rustling around? Here we go. Here's some more. This is the clasp. I like the clasp a lot. It's magnetic. And here, here it is right there. Bear with me here just a second. Let me get back to seeing you folks. There it is. Okay. Here's the clasp. And the clasp is uh, magnetic. As I said, it's really tough and sturdy. See that there? It has that little nub in it that closes like this. Like this. I know. Oh, Mary Ellen. I know. I'm kind of really into these simple components as well, right? So here you can see, I mean, it doesn't really fit into this, but you can see how, whoops, it wants to climb onto my tweezers. See how you can attach right there. Really great for a bracelet or for a necklace or whatever. The clasp is really um, uh, nice and tight, right? Really nice. Um, super sturdy. We've got more of uh, these guys I like. These are the um, Meliconis, the Super Duo Bead Replacement in Metal. It's a Super Duo, but it's silver. It's metal, so we have it in the silver, the... Um, the antique brass, the bright gold. And see, it's the, just about exactly the same, except it's metal. I'm trying to turn this, but I'm not having much luck. Come on. There we go. So see there? It's the, the metal super duo right there. We also have them. This was in the first round, the first um, launch, the ones that have the texture on the front. These though are just the plain ones like this. And you see how they fall right in there. And these are the, the silver ones, but you can see how that would go. 
right in there like that. Okay. Um, let me show you. Do I have one more? I think that might be it. I showed you the side beads. I think that's it. Um, these are, uh, then here's some of the ones from last time, those earrings. Remember those guys? We've got these. These fit really nicely right into there. You can make a mandala, the earring there. Um, here's that substitution bead. It, this is the Variti. That's the one that has that, um, that texture on the top like this. So there's just so many varieties of these symbols uh, that you can play with for, um, for the super duos, right? I would recommend getting yourself a variety of them and just kind of playing around. Look at this one. This is that really tiny one that has the little loop and it's really nice for hanging. You can hang a charm from it or something right there. Look at how nice that looks, right? If you go, let me share my screen with you again, and I'll show you folks where everything is. Uh, bear with me here just a second. Let me get the website up. Let me go here. Let me go here. Let me share my screen. Um, right here and this one. Okay. So if you go into new arrival, see, I'm going to click on that and you scroll down all of our latest launches are here. Okay. If you see something that's sold out, um, don't fret. Janice has them back in. We'll get them back in. We've got them on order. There's all the nun caps that we just launched, the Mian dangles, the new bugles. And if you keep going, just in is great, the, the new arrivals, because you can see kind of in order what we've just launched. Uh, if you go past all of this stuff, you'll see the first launch. There it is here. All of the different um, symbol launches there. Okay. You can also find them. I think they are under components and findings. Um, and if we go, I think it's under its own category, symbols findings right here. Can you see that? You click on that and everything is there for you. Okay. Um, it's all right there. Okay. And there will be more. Uh, once we have all of this now is for super duos, but once we have them for Tylas and for the gem duos, there'll be some navigation here that you can pick and choose. So you can find the ones here. Okay. Um, so uh, the question was for the gem duos, uh, the gem duos, um, we will carry a whole bunch of them. I've got them sitting over there along with the gem duo beads. Okay. So you'll, you'll find those there. Um, okay. Just, uh, Janice is saying also the textured metal super duo is plain on the back and be, can be used both sides up. Janice is saying she's using it in her wrap for May 10th. Um, it's really a fun, a fun piece. I can't wait for you to send, oh, Variti. There we go. Uh, can I show a checkmate's tile in a component? Sure. Let me, let me get rid of that. Let me get this back. So it's the checkmate's bars um, that really work in there rather than the tiles. But let me show you here how that bar fits right in there. Okay. And the holes seem to line up just fine. So, um, I think you're in good shape to play around with these with the checkmates bars as well. Okay. 
So Maggie, go to our uh, the homepage, um, and you can under uh, beads and gems go to beads, and you can click on the left hand navigation bar, checkmates bars and tiles. That's a good place to find it as well. Okay. So uh, that's my story. Oh, half tilas. Um, maybe. Let me see if I have any half tilas. If I have them out, you know, I mm, I don't. My half tila box is still not organized over here by me. But you can certainly try it out. I think the half tila might be a little bit wider than this. Um, but you can certainly try it out if you get some uh, and play around. Again, I think that these will work for so much more than just super duos. You just have to um, be a little um, creative with it. Okay. So friends, just as a reminder, we've got um, Spring Fling 20 going on right now for the Great Beat Extravaganza. Um, it takes everything off store-wide, including the kids, everything that's in the store. You can use that Spring Fling, 20, or Spring Fling and it'll knock 20% off store-wide. Also, don't forget, of course, all of this is because of the Great Beat Extravaganza Spring Fling. Preview night starts tonight at 5 p.m. Pacific. Um, and uh, then tomorrow uh, and um, Sunday, the different presenters uh, go on with really fantastic demos. I will be on uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. M. And just as a reminder, whoops, I'm still covering myself. Hang on a second. And just a reminder, tomorrow I actually will have a pre recorded segment for you. Um, I'm not going to be live. Um, I have another Saturday commitment. Uh, it's my monthly uh, commitment um, with my Fiber Guild tomorrow. So I will pre record it today. I'm going to have a lot of really fun. Um, uh, techniques for you to use with the Maverick kits. We're going to talk about how to adapt them, how to add some things to them, how to put holes in the leather, all that kind of good stuff. So, but if you want the kit, nab it soon because it is going, going. Um, you can also find the leather just by the package. It's in a one yard package. So pick up those as well. We put them on a great, um, really great price. And with your discount, they're even better. So you can stock up on this uh, 10 millimeter because when we're gone, it's gone. That's it. This and that 20 millimeter that matches it. Um, we're shifting over to um, some new leathers and some new leather colors. So you'll see those. Uh, let's go ahead and see if there are any other questions here. Um, yeah, we are launching symbols for Tylus. That's right, JP. Um, the tilas, um, and those will work with all of the different tilas that we carry. So stay tuned for those. Um, any other questions here? I think this will do it. Oh, thank you, Linda. I'm glad you love the kits. They were really fun to put together. I was trying to be, um, I was trying to be inventive with it. Um, all right. Well, everyone do have a fantastic weekend. You know, if you have any questions or comments or you need to get in touch, you can find us on our socials at Bead Shop. Go ahead and, and join our Bead Table group on Facebook. You can uh, post your makes, give us a shout out, tag us over on Instagram. We'd love to see what you make. And of course, on uh, YouTube, hit that like, subscribe, and notification button so you're always notified when we have a new video going up. Uh, questions, hit us up at info at beadshop.com. And I will see you tomorrow for the Maverick bracelet. And then next week, uh, more goodies coming, everybody. Always hustling. Always getting something new for you folks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day great beat extravaganza. I'll see you tonight on the um, preview 
where you get to meet everyone and see their projects, as well as tomorrow for my segment at 10 a.m. And then on Sunday, I have the pleasure of hosting our buddy Lisa Niven Kelly from Beejucation. That'll be at 2 p.m. Pacific, but consult your um, schedules. Um, they're all over on the Great Beat Extravaganza Facebook page. And we'll see you soon, everybody. Thanks so much. We always appreciate your support. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.